Hi everyone, this is just a very quick video on what happens when you take the Fourier transform of a derivative. This is a useful thing to know because it simplifies the solution of certain differential equations. Now, to make things a bit more precise, what we have is a function g, it's a function of a parameter t, which I'm going to think of as time. Uh, g is just the first time derivative of some other function f. The question is, how can we express the Fourier transform of g, which I'm writing as g tilde of omega, in terms of the Fourier transform of f? Now, since there are different conventions for Fourier transforms, let me just show you the definition that I use. So f tilde of omega is defined as the integral overall time of f of t times e to the minus i omega t. Under that convention, the inverse Fourier transform works like this. So to get back your original function, you multiply your Fourier transform by e to the positive i omega t, um, integrate that overall omega, and then you have to divide by 2 pi. Right. There are different conventions as to where that 2 pi goes. As it turns out, it doesn't really matter for this derivation. Now, uh, the easiest way to do this is to say that g of t is just, well, it's d by dt of f. Okay, But then we can express f using the inverse Fourier transform. Say so f is the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f tilde of omega e to the i omega t d omega over 2 pi. Now, the nice thing here is that the only time dependence in that whole expression is in that complex exponential. So you can take your time derivative inside the integral and differentiating just pulls down a factor of i omega. Okay, So this becomes the integral from minus infinity to infinity of f tilde of omega times i omega e to the i omega t d omega over 2 pi. And remember that this is all supposed to be equal to g of t. Now, by inspection, you can see, well, this entire integral, it's a Fourier integral and it's supposed to give us g of t, which means that all of the stuff in front of the complex exponential should be the Fourier transform of g. So we can just write down that g tilde of omega is equal to i omega times f tilde of omega. So the key result is that uh, differentiation in real space corresponds to multiplication by i omega in Fourier space. There is another common way of doing this, which only uses the forward Fourier transform. Um, that other proof involves doing integration by parts, and it's a little bit more work than this. So I quite like this method. Anyway, I'm planning to make a couple of videos soon uh, on how to actually use this result to solve certain differential equations. So I hope to see you again soon.